This is uh, game five at uh, Decode's big weekend tournament. This is round five. So we have Ben's team, which is, I guess, and Dreadnought against them much this weekend. But, uh, and we got Jocelyn's Longbird. Uh, so they're rolling off the sidekicks. This is Ben's fourth game, I think, in the tournament. You are three and a. Oh, sorry, with the buy. Three and a buy, and Dawson, your third game. We're going to say you're one and two. How's that? <laughs> We're going to say you're one and two. You get some comments. I said I, I was going to do this one with a bag of chips. So. Ben's going first. Ben, first turn. That's the difference we normally uh, commentate is that I can't really say what I think the strategy is going to be because I'm like, I, well, I'm pretty sure it's like, and Ben's probably going to be buying and getting a Professor X Global here, but it's like I can't give away any strategies when you're. That's right. That's right. Perfect time for the seeding corruption. <laughs> this day and age, a lot of the videos people are still looking. <laughs> Ben purchased a pick turn two and Rex it all. Using Billy Club. Dawson used the board low by seeding. I think Ben likes his role. Been the host of the tournament today. They are our local weekly event playing Dice Masters. And also should do a shout out to Arch for organizing for all the prizes and help. A 
as I speak it to code, my sandwich just. Treatment. Songbird gets treat. Songbird when field it deals two damage all of the character days. Then up for a good turn. Crumble. Works. Crumble with Songbird is healed her while you have Work Knob in the field, dealing two damage, which could KO a lot of the characters and pop up Work Knob. On the shot right here. Almost the exact opposite. <laughs> right. Rolls the elimination, he rolls again, everything's gonna come up right. Mimic is the source of ramp, of course, the game. And has been his main engine all weekend. He knows if he re-rolls, nothing's going to come up. <laughs> no, he's been rolling good. This this will be it. Like, what was that one dice that always rolled my eyes? Ah, uh, Falcon. Red Falcon eyes always rolls levels. Besides, <laughs> go for it. And gets the exact same. Always good to have a blank five got. And it just gets. Flip has been, yes, yeah, so flip is blanked. I think it's blank on the inside, isn't it? Anyways. <laughs> That's how many cards that Songbird works with. A throne brick purchase. Flip <laughs> card. Of course, you do that blanking the actual.
an energy trade out there. And we make it nice. Perks of a carnage. The throne break is thrown, which will get prep. Ben. Austin's determined to get uh, Songbird through. In a magic middle of the game. I think we've had tonight have had magic middle, haven't they? If not these two. Ben Killer's high kick, damage, capability. And Mimic still at the end. Ben makes another side kick to Professor X. Players do have Professor X Magnet. Trying to get as much ramp as he can, so about a throw brick. Third time. Songbird through, Mimic will roll for you, is what's going to happen. That's what's going to have to happen. <laughs> the damage we have is what? The 2018? Oh, from the bleed damage? Could go over what she's thinking about doing, but hold on. She has a seating corruption. Throne brick. Three. <laughs> like a left. One. Three. 
Rick purchased. Three times charm. Hungry. Oh, yeah. And Songbird gets blocked again. There's a happy dance over here for that dreadnought miss. Jocelyn. Chrome brick done. Tong brick prepping to die. Many characters left for you to feel. Awesome. Of course, she'll start taking some back. It looks like she's rolling from bricks, feeding corruption, and another orc drop. That's it. Okay, thrown bricks. And has a feeling cost. One thrown brick goes to Shriek, one thrown brick goes to Jubilee, which KOs both as a secret corruption. Big field for just That's a priority. I get good fielded. So both the Orc knobs get pumped because of the Jubilee and the Shriek both getting KO'd. And good defensive play by Ben, blocking with all the sidekicks, uh, leaving a giant field on Jocelyn's side. Hey, Emic Roll. Ben needing some characters in the field, and he got him finally back. Shriek did all this again. And he's got Shriek back. Looks like Dreadnought roll. Good to get a feel back for Ben. I know Johnson looks like she will be re rolling. Using corruption next turn, she only has four her use five. I believe he can feel. Feeling cost is five with four energy showing. Again, not to commentate too much of, but I'm sure Ben knows. 
pin down an energy to the left. Ben doesn't need help. <laughs> Ben's using on the send commentating. I think Ben should not field any characters. Can't field Shriek because we only have one token for Shriek, so... Oh, we do have another. Okay, so we're good. I can say you can't feel too tricky. I didn't bring any others. There's some dreadnought range damage to Keen in the head, I feel. The one thing I know with. Austin's got a big field, but a lot of them are low defense. Hey Kim, how are you? Hey Kim here in the booth. Yeah. Which do put one on stream? Interesting battle. Thunder can't get through it. Plus, that's the hard part that we're having here is we can't say what to commentate in because they're right here to listen to the else. We could kind of say what we would do or what we could think to do, but that's a difficult. So Ben's going ahead and feel his characters. Feel the Dreadnought, Karnak, and a Mimic. Not sure who Mimic uh, copied. Huh? I kick. I kick. Looking for Ramp, Mimic. Rick, prepping. I didn't feel this back in the prep too. Shriek is shrieking the shriek. The numbers, but the range is six damage to do, which wouldn't uh, KO the rest of the field. So he ends his turn, hold until next turn. Seething Corruption does not roll. Which happened. That could be. We could talk strategy, we have to happen at sets on. Yeah, uh, we started about a minute and I started recording. It got three minutes. Left. That would have been. Shriek comes back out. Shriek and Dreadnought with range damage. Life score is still 18. 18. Work knobs, three sidekicks, and a songbird still wanting to come through. All the characters in the field are laughing about how the works. We're thrown with nothing to prep because she has nothing in her bag. And Ben lets Songbird through finally. 
kicks. Ben rolling a ton of dice. A lot of characters roll. Looks like we have a Dreadnought, a Shriek, Night Kick, Jubilee. Let's roll characters. Arnick doesn't roll. I can drag not into the field. Songbird gets finally free and gets free. Wall up again. <laughs> or it doesn't come with seething corruption. But seething corruption does roll. And there are dice now to prep for a thrown brick. If I think we're going to drug test those. One psych, two thrown bricks, and a seething corruption roll. Turn zero. Throwing a brick at Shriek with seething corruption on KO Shriek. One prep die, so he's not prepping. Julie gets KO'd. Prepping to die, which is longer. York knobs are now KO's. Ben field a sidekick using Mimic to prep two dice. Life's Garcia is 17 for Dawson, 13 for Ben. Characters roll in for Ben. Karnak rolls. Even more characters. Fielding. Jubilee both fielding costs of one. Fielded. That is the Batman that will act your psychic dice get plus two. Up 
Or do you have anything in prep? Lots of field. Ben was going to do damage with the Jubilee. Realize now that we're not having buff characters being KO'd. Damage from Jubilee to behind. It's KO'd in buff. the damage here, I think. Ben attacking, the, the range damage will go through now. Or is it? Yeah, Shriek's been KO'd, so that's range damage will go through. Psychics are plus two, right? Yeah. With the psychics plus two, I think that should be. A very interesting game finishes with Ben swinging with a bunch of sidekicks and back. Very good game, everybody.